Hi, I'm Bill McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture Today. Welcome to this week's edition of FTTV Fridays. In a minute, we'll go around the table and talk to our staff about what's coming up for the upcoming High Point Market. Uh, For myself, I just got back from Dallas, where I took a look at the new Nebraska Furniture Mart, uh, a massive 1.2 million square foot facility that has 560,000 square feet of selling space, a five-story parking garage, and a huge assortment of home furnishings. You got a little bit of a taste of that in the most recent issue of Furniture Today, but we have more coverage of that, including more photos coming up in uh, upcoming issues, so please stay tuned. Now we're going to go around the table and give you a little idea of what everyone's working on this week for market, and we hope to see you out in the streets. The top story we have in our opening day issue uh, coming out on Saturday when market opens is about um, investment in the furniture industry in the last few years which had kind of fallen by the wayside during the recession. But uh, about, uh, oh, five or six years ago, people woke up to the fact that housing was coming back and the home furnishings industry is one way to uh, take advantage of that. So we just are, have inter- interviewed several companies that have uh, taken advantage of the investment climate, have plowed more money into their businesses, and just seeing where that goes from here. Okay, on opening day, market, of course, is our biggest issue, one of our biggest issues of the year. And in that, it's going to be packed full of news. Um, I cover case goods, as many of you know, and a lot of what I've covered has to do with what people are doing in terms of big collections, at, ranging from Bernhardt to Hooker Furniture. Um, also, there's a lot of um, license initiatives this market that we're talking about um designer collections barclay butera at highland house with like at least 60 pieces thomas o'brien at century in addition um we have our design um, i'm sorry our um taking the high road uh in supplement which talks a lot about how case goods companies and other parts of the business are staying competitive in today's environment um, well, we're actually going to kick off Market on Friday with a breakfast roundtable sponsored by Lectra, and we're going to talk with some of the industry leaders about manufacturing efficiencies during that. Um, then after that, we will head into full-blown market coverage, showroom visits, and um, start talking about the trends on Saturday in the opening issue. Busy, busy. Well, in the rug world at Market, uh, it's always big for licensees, and a couple of the bigger ones that we have this go around include uh, Bill Mangum for Surya and the new National Geographic line for Jaipur. And in addition to rugs, I have also started branching out and covering bedding a bit more. And as of today on FurnitureToday.com, you can take a look at a new blog that we have called Mattress Tags. And in Mattress Tags, we take a fun look at the bedding industry, you know, we could have offbeat stories, we could have sleep studies, we could have tweets, we could have photos, we can have videos. There's really no limit to the coverage. We think it's really going to add something special. You have a jelly bean bed, don't you? I have a je- uh, gummy bears, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, Bill, at market, I'm looking forward to putting my product hat back on. I'm going to be doing business stories for occasional and home office during market and also working on uh, in advance on a special report on home entertainment that's coming out afterward. Um, that being said, I'm also going to be doing the logistics thing. I'm going to be um, talking to people about our June 2nd and 3rd logistics conference. Um, talk about what's going to be going on there, what we need to be looking at, and try and build up some excitement on that. And last but not least, at this uh, furniture market, you're going to see the first print version of Design Today, our new up till now entirely digital publication, but you will see it in print at market, so we hope you'll pick it up and uh, let us know what you think. I'm Bill McLaughlin with Furniture Today, wishing you good business and a good market. <laughs>